exclusive behind airbnb's uh bet on show business to hook travelers really interesting article here right so um i saw this the other day and it's essentially telling us that airbnb are getting into the tv production um scene they want to produce their own tv show with the hope of that will inspire travelers or people who want to travel to take up a trip with airbnb so airbnb inc um the article says from reuters i'll link in the show notes for you guys to read if you want to check it out um airbnb inc the high-flying startup for booking home rentals around the world has ambitious has a- ambition to develop a slate of original shows to wet customers appetite i don't know i don't know how you spell wet that way if you're going to say that i thought it's just wet normally okay fair enough uh for travel for people familiar with the matter told reuters the strategy previously unreported is uh, is crucial for the company which is privately valued at 31 billion mamma mia and is gearing up for an initial public offering on a stock expected next year airbnb must distinguish itself from bookings.com expedia and others in the physically competitive and consolidated travel industry where apartment renting services are increasingly common but come on man no one is no one no one in their right mind is comparing bookings.com and expedia to fucking airbnb right do people actually book apartments or um places to stay on bookings.com and expedia I don't. I don't think I've ever used it for that. When I go on bookings.com or Expedia, I go here specifically to buy, uh, to book a hotel room. Because there's some, there are, even even though um, I don't think, uh, I think it's strange, isn't it? Because I think um, even for all the drama of Uber, with all the re- regulation drama and the stuff with Travis uh, Kalanick, the, the OG founder that was kind of ousted from his own company, the beef they had with London, um, just in general, you know, the, the overall drama with Uber. Uber probably done a better way of penetrating um, most regions around the world or most places around the world. I think most of you got even in the far flung places in Southeast Asia, your your Uber is gonna work. It's still gonna be the same taxi service you see running around the street, but it's gonna work if you want to use it. Whereas it seems to me like Airbnb, there's still some um, Airbnb dead zones, like some holidays you go to, you just don't find any Airbnbs at all. I can't remember the place exactly. I think it might be Manchester or something similar to that. There weren't that as many Airbnbs as I thought there would be. There were a couple, but not as many as you'd assume, right? Because if you've been to Manchester, you know, it's like, you know, there's some beautiful apartments in the city centre and stuff. So you'd find them and then you'd find some other random places just on the outskirts. But there wasn't as many as I thought there would be. Um, there's always this kind of, I think Bristol's maybe the same sort of thing too. There's always these little dead zones. But sometimes you just have to book a hotel because there's no other place you want to go. And... Um, I guess because I'm so used to going to Berlin, going to Madrid, going to Barcelona and these places using Airbnb, sometimes staying in a hotel um, is nice. You know, the idea that you wake up in the morning, you come back, you wake up in the morning, you go out the whole day and you have do your little travels, eat, do your sightseeing and you come back to your room. It's already been, you know, it's been clean. The bed sheets have been changed. Like there's something, you know, something nice about if you someone taking care of that all the time, the annoying bit of it is like, you know, you have to go out and get breakfast every day because when you're in Airbnb, the nice thing about it is like, just, you know, you just buy a couple of eggs and just have them in the morning and then, you know, you don't need to eat again until later on in the in evening or the afternoon. You'd have to think about where you will have to go and serve the breakfast. That's always kind of the annoying part of it, but I don't know. Anyway, it continues. Chief Executive Brian Chesky is driving the idea. Three of the people said, arguing that creative content is important for Airbnb's brand, even if the business case is not always clear. Brian wants to, you know, this is very true. I've Trust me, I've been there in marketing teams where you're trying to justify a marketing initiative that might not be good for the overall bottom dollar because, you know, it's quite hard to quantify these kind of things, right? Because, I don't know, if this show ends up, um, you know, ends up attracting 1 million users. It doesn't necessarily mean that would equate to 1 million people booking uh, trips on Airbnb. What you want is that you want people to associate Airbnb with Wanderlust, right? You want them to associate Airbnb with, you know, this idea of traveling the world and to these far flung places and maybe and maybe picking your destination based on the places that you want to stay in instead of the other way around, right? Sometimes people just only book their holidays based on what's the cheapest flights, what's available, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they're going to be able to reverse it and say, look, Look at this amazing place that we've got in the middle of, I don't know, Tibet, whatever it may be. Look at the look at the sights and scenes around it because they've got those tours that they do. And this is, you know, and then you can start planning your trip that way around. So in terms of associating yourself with that kind of image, it doesn't necessarily equate to the bottom dollar. And when you're talking to the, the people that have their fingers on the wallet or the card or, you know, have the, have the, the code for the bank account and shit and for the wire payments, they probably don't get it in some regards, but, you know, that's the fight that I, I kind of always kind of like in meetings and stuff as well, trying to justify those kind of things because they come from a good place too. You just have to kind of make them see um, see it your way and you can kind of see it their way. Anyway, it continues. Um, Brian wants to create a studio. Awesome. One of the people said uh, the mentality 
let's do shows, let's do films because we want to be travel everything, which is very true. Chesky, who founded the company, likes big splashy things. Another person said, uh, for the last three years, Airbnb have battled around, uh, battled around the idea of creating or licensing multi mini series and documentaries about travel and shows featuring Airbnb homes, guests, and house and host. One of the people said it was discussed working with studios as well as starting its own, which is very true because they did that thing recently with Berlin, right? Do you remember that? Do you see that article? There was an article recently about um, people in Berlin getting annoyed that um, some, there's an Airbnb tour, I think, at the moment now about um, something about uh, connect with the the Berlin underground electronic scene or something, and they take you to all the like you know the well known Berlin spots, whether it's record stores whether it's old warehouse spaces that aren't used anymore, whether it's now defunct clubs, whether it is actual clubs, whether it's um, agencies, whether it's, I don't know, a park bench where a certain producer met somebody else. I mean, they take them all to all the legendary Berlin techno spots that you'd kind of know if you're in part of the scene. They'd kind of do it in the Airbnb tour. And I think a lot of people in the scene will kind of get annoyed by it because you know, it's a little bit cheesy, it's a little bit corny. And I guess if you're a part of the scene and you're an OG, it's a little bit, you know, it's just a little bit naff but i see i i see the vision and i get because i know a lot of people make quite a lot of money from it I've, i think i mentioned i've watched i heard somebody in the podcast mention how they made a lot of money from doing those tours on airbnb right like the kind of you know and it's a it's a, it's a step up from the jack and ripper shit you see in brick lane in london um essentially somebody taking you to shoreditch to brick lane to all the b- best spots in dawson i'm sure they must be it's a bit different now because most of the, the clubs on the strip are fucking closed but when the strip in Dawson was popping off, that would have been an awesome tour to have on Airbnb, right? Take somebody from Jaguar Shoes all the way up, like to Haggerston, if they're still alive, take them down to um, to birthdays and then go back down to Alibi. Do you know what I mean? And then when you come out of that, maybe go back up to Mustache Bar until six. Do you know what I mean? That would be fucking awesome to do. But I guess, you know, nowadays with, with the strip being now you know, defunct and full of fucking commercial units. It's probably not going to happen. Um, it continues. The company has worked on a television show slated for Apple Inc.'s, a- Apple's up-and-coming streaming service, Home, a docuseries featuring unique um, abodes around the world and the people behind them. One executive producer of the show is Joe Poland, a company vice president who ran luxury retreats when Airbnb acquired the booking site in 2017. Airbnb announced last week it had developed a pro- and produced a documentary, Gay Chorus uh, Deep South, which follows the San Francisco Gay Men's Choir on a tour across South United States and will premiere the Tribeca Film Festival next week. Um, Airbnb told Reuters it's providing it's provided funding for the project. In an interview, Airbnb's top policy and communication uh, executive Chris Lehane said the company is considering streaming films and shows through the app. Oh, awesome! As well as through other video platforms. That's gonna be cool, man. You see how how honestly the vision. Some of these guys, man. That, there's a reason why these guys are who they are, and they start these companies and they end up, you know. Um, uh, putting their, you know, having their company listed um, and stuff like that, wherever it may be, and, you know, IPOs and exiting with big amounts of big ones of cash in their back pockets. It's because they have this really grandiose, almost far flung, almost, you know, um, ridiculous ideas behind their brand. You know, who would have guessed it back in the day when I used to book my shitty apartments um, in Neuklon in Berlin to go and get fucked up and in Berlin for a weekend? Who would have guessed that this, this same app? would now evolve into an app that invites people to take tours in different places and to see different sites, especially if they're traveling solo, which I'm sure Airbnb has a lot of, I'm sure Airbnb has a lot of data about the people that travel using Airbnb because I know a lot of people like myself who don't necessarily, you know, I don't mind going to a hostel. I don't mind being around some young kids and chilling out or whatever it may be, but I'm also at that kind of age and that kind of place in my life where I kind of want my own space, right? I want to get, you know, I want to just wake up and do my own shit. I don't want to wake up when 70, you know, six six other 21 year olds who are full of life are waking up and deciding to go out and share i want to wake up whenever i want to wake up and sometimes you know 